Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here. So glad you clicked on. Well, this week we continued on in our sermon series, Real Christmas, where we've been looking at different Christmas movies that help us to maybe see anew the story of the birth of Jesus. So this weekend, we took a look at a 90s classic, The Santa Claus. Now in the movie, if you haven't seen it, uh, Scott Calvin, the main character, uh, inadvertently becomes Santa Claus and he's taken to the North Pole and he has to choose whether he's going to believe in this or not believe in it. And he's definitely leaning towards not believing. Uh, so in the, in the movie, we watched the clip this weekend, he says, what if I choose not to believe? <laughs> and uh, the head elf kind of tells him, well, then Christmas would be ruined and Christmas spirit would perish and it would be awful. So uh, then he spends the next, you know, 11 months kind of grappling with what does it mean to believe in this, this, uh, this dream or this, this situation that I really am Santa Claus. We use that to talk about the story of Joseph and how when the angel comes to him and tells him to not be afraid to take Mary as his wife, he chooses to believe. He chooses to follow through to marry uh, Mary and to take Jesus as his only son. And we talked about what a blessing that was, that he chose to believe. We also talked about how then we too have that choice of whether we're going to choose to believe or not believe when God calls us to do something. Now, probably won't be as big of a task as, you know, parenting the son of God, but everything that Jesus, God asks us to do, we have to choose whether we're going to do it or not, whether we're going to believe in that call in our lives. I was thinking about how this Sunday we lit the second candle, which is the candle of love and how really that tied in perfectly, but <laughs> I didn't think about it until too late. So we're talking about it now, about how when we choose to believe, we're actually sharing God's love in the world because every time God calls us to do something, whatever it might be, it is really a sharing of God's love. So whether that be something like, oh, I really feel like I should take a meal over to my friend's house because they're recovering from surgery, or whether that be, I really feel like God is calling me into the ministry and that I should be a pastor. Those situations, anything in between, all of that is sharing God's love in the world. And so when God calls us, if we choose not to believe, we're really limiting God sharing God's love in the world. We're, we're limiting uh, the love that somebody else might experience. And I think that's a really helpful way for me to think about choosing to believe. So when I hear that still small voice, when I feel compelled to do something, it's easy for me to say, mm, maybe I'm just making it up. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Maybe that's not real. So I'm just going to choose to let that go. But when I do that, I'm, I'm not sharing God's love. And so instead, if I would choose to believe every time I feel a nudge to do something, and realize that even if it feels awkward, even if it feels like it's stepping outside of my comfort zone, even if I feel like I'm not qualified to do it, if I would say yes to whatever God has asked me to do, I'm going to then share God's love with somebody. And that is a really powerful way for me to think about calling, that it's really an opportunity to share God's love. And I can choose to believe in it or not believe in it, but if I choose not to believe in it, I am not sharing God's love. Mm, right? Like, so that makes me want to say yes, and that makes me want to choose to believe so that others can experience God's love. It's kind of like Scott Calvin saying yes to being Santa so that kids around the world can experience the magic of Christmas, right? So as we lit the candle of love this week and we're thinking about that theme for the second week of Advent, I really do think it ties into this idea of whether we're choosing to believe or not believe in the calling that God has placed on our life. 
when we say yes, when we choose to believe, we're sharing God's love, we are building God's kingdom, we are helping others experience God's love, and that is just so powerful. That's so powerful. I shared a story in my sermon about <clears throat> a time where I chose not to believe <laughs> in the voice of God that was telling me to pray with somebody like right in this moment. And I, I just didn't do it. And I let them walk away. I prayed for them and I prayed for that situation. I just didn't do it right then in the moment. I have to remind myself that people are not going to be offended if I ask to pray with them. And if, if they don't want me to pray with them, they have the opportunity to say, no, thanks. I'd prefer not to do that. Why do I feel like I need to limit how God uses me? Because I'm afraid it's going to make somebody else uncomfortable. God's love is God's love. And sometimes it does make us feel uncomfortable because it's so atypical of human love or human uh, the human experience. But it doesn't mean that's a bad thing. It just means that that could be a really powerful moment for somebody to experience God's love in that moment. So all that to say, if you feel like God is nudging you to do something or you just kind of get like, sometimes you might get like the prickle of goosebumps. You might hear a voice in the back of your head. You might hear other people kind of confirming what you're feeling. Listen to it and choose to believe because I don't think you're going to regret sharing God's love in our world. I mean, it doesn't take much to look at headlines and to see this world is a broken place and it is a suffering world. And so it is in desperate need of God's love. That's what we're called to do is to share God's love with others. So I hope you will ponder on that this week. Think about how God might be calling you to share God's love in the world. And uh, yeah, just listen to that voice. Choose to believe. Choose to believe. <laughs> well, I hope you'll join us this weekend in person. We are going to have our kids Christmas program, which is just like the best day of the year. Uh, they always do an incredible job. So uh, if you're in the area, we hope you'll come and worship with us in person. If you are worshiping with us online this weekend, we're going to have a fabulous guest preacher that you won't want to miss. So either way, it's a win-win. So we hope you'll join us. We're going to be lighting the third Advent candle this week. Can you believe we're already at the third candle this weekend? And that is the candle of joy. And um, so, yeah, I mean, what's better than the candle of joy? <laughs> It's just the best candle. Um, so we hope you'll join us, whether in person or online, and have a great rest of your week. See ya.